Another difference that struck me, tell me what you think of this, is that the notion of freedom from much of the Caribbean, it's in some way more celebratory and it's more rooted in history. And it may be because these are mostly majority black societies. Mm -hmm. So history is in a sense controlled. So it's much more commemorative. Does that make sense to you? It's not a struggle to control the narration of history at a national level. Oh, that's it. Yes. So you're in charge of the narrative. Yes. Which is huge. But you're also, I thought of this because I wanted to do, sorry, my podcast is on my mind and I've been, I wanted to do a, 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 and I haven't managed to figure out how to do it, but there's a Jamaican poet called Louise Bennett. And if you are Jamaican, you know exactly who this person is. And you're, she's like the, probably the most important kind of colloquial poet. I don't, maybe that's the wrong word, popular poet. And she was, she wrote poetry in dialect. So she was a kind of, um, uh, for a generation of Jamaicans, she was an assertion of, of Jamaican identity and culture. So when my mother, my mother was a scholarship student at a pr predominantly white boarding school in Jamaica, she and the other black students at the school, as a kind of um, act of protest, read Louise Bo Bennett poetry at the school function when she was 12 years old. So she's that kind of, and if you read Louise Bennett's poetry, a lot of it is this, it's all, much of it is about race, but it's not, it's about race where the Jamaican, the black Jamaican often has the upper hand. The black Jamaican is always telling some kind of sly joke at the expense of the white minority, right? So it's very much, it's poetry that doesn't make sense, or it doesn't make the same kind of sense in a, in a society where you're, um, a, a relatively powerless minority. It's the kind of thing that makes sense if you're, you're 95%, and you're not in control of major institutions and such, but you are 95% of the population, and you feel like you're going to win pretty soon. And <laughs> she has this one, my mother used to read this poet, poem to me as a child, where Louise Bennett is, the poem is all about sitting in a beauty parlor, getting her hair straightened, sitting next to a white woman who's getting her hair curled. <laughs> and the joke is that the white woman's paying a lot more to get her hair curled than these band is to get her hair straightened. Like, that's the point, right? It's like, it's all this kind of subtle one-upmanship. Um, but that's very Jamaican. 